What's good y'all? Welcome back to the channel and believe it or not we are more than halfway through the year so in this video I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 list of the best sneakers of this year so far and also you guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys feel are the best sneakers of this year so far. Let's kick it off with the first one, the New Balance Rebel V4s. So this sneaker was covered in one of my top 10 most comfortable lists. So I have a lot of respect for these shoes right here. Wow, this isn't a perfect hybrid of a running sneaker and a lifestyle sneaker. This is one of the most softest shoes you can buy on the market, which come at a very affordable price at $140. Next, we have a general release pair, and this is the New Balance 990 V4s, and specifically, I'm talking about the Arctic Blue colorway. This is a general release sneaker that completely sold out, but not only that, this sneaker is going up in resale value, and currently, it is at $184. This shoe has a very nice combination of blue and black, and this is part of the Made in USA line, so, you guys let me know if you agree that this is one of the best sneakers of the year. Coming in at number eight, we have the ASICS Gel NYC Hidden York Collab. What Hidden NY brought to the table with these is very creative as he played around with pixelated ASICS branding and the little selection boxes around the hidden logos, which makes for an incredible colorway that is definitely summer ready. This pair of sneakers comes in at a price range of about $180 to $282. The next pair I'm going to talk about is the Jordan 3, J Balvin, Rio, and Sunset colorways. The J Balvins were an incredible pair of sneakers, but the price range is not so great, starting at $378 and ends at about $1,472. These two sneakers are incredibly wearable when comparing them to his previous sneaker releases. And when it comes to these threes, they look just as good in black as they are in white. Let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel about this shoe. And I look forward to seeing more J Balvin releases as I hope for he comes with a Jordan 4 next. Let's get on to the next sneaker of this list. And if we're talking about the most popular model for Nike, this definitely goes to the Nike Zoom Romero 5s and I have one of the most coolest and unique pairs that I've seen in the Romero 5s for a very long time. The one drop that really stood out to me is the design by Japan and this is one of the most slept on shoes of the year as I didn't really see any sneaker blogs covering this shoe and Nike's execution on this shoe was just amazing. The Vomero 5s definitely deserved a spot on this list, so you guys let me know down in the comments below your guys' favorite colorways. But typically the Vomero 5s right now go for about $109 to about $160. Coming in at number 5, we have the Jordan 3 Craft Ivory. Now, this sneaker is definitely one of my top Jordan 3s of this year which is pretty crazy as this is not even one of the OG colorways or a collaboration. A massive benefit about these Jordans is that they are not reselling for too of a high price. However, they did sell out, but the resale prices go for about $165 to $543. Coming in at number four, we coincidentally have the Jordan 4 Red Reimagined, which is easily one of the biggest sneaker releases of the year. And this is an insane return for the Jordan 4 Breads. This is the sixth time they retro this sneaker in this colorway since the original in 1989. And it is not surprising that they decided to switch things up a bit. Nevertheless, this is a classic colorway on a dope sneaker model that honestly the resale prices aren't too bad coming in at $199 to about $322. Next sneaker, we gotta give some love to the Nike SBs, and my personal favorite drop of the year so far is the Futura Nike SBs. The legendary New York artist Futura finally dropped his collab with the Nike SBs, and although the Nike SBs are currently on a downhill as far as resale prices, people are definitely loving this Nike SBs out of all the other ones out. The colors on this shoe are super dope, and when compared to his other work, this is very similar. So if you are a fan, this is a must cop and the resale prices come for about $198 to 
$691. Let me know down in the comments below which Nike SB you believe to be the best so far. Coming in at number two, we have the Jordan Travis Scott Jumpman Jack. And this sneaker model is very interesting. And the first color we were able to see is the CL colorway. And this colorway was very limited, expensive, and super hyped up. This sneaker is kind of a combination of Travis Scott's other sneakers, just like the Jordan 1 Air Trainers and the Mac Attacks. But when it's all said and done, this sneaker looks amazing. It's also the first signature sneaker between Jordan and Travis Scott, which is iconic within itself. And the resale prices go for about $429 to $534. We are already at the last pair of this list, and I couldn't end this video without incorporating the Jordan 4 Military Blues, which retail at about $170 to $300. There was no way I could add the sneaker to this list as it was an anticipated drop and it was long awaited. Personally, I believe this is a great looking pair of sneakers and ever since I got into sneakers, this sneaker right here has had a very special place in my heart. These are classics and are definitely one of the most memorable drops of this year, but it doesn't stop there. There are quite a few of memorable sneakers under retail so click this video, which will tell you all about the top 10 sneakers everyone should own under retail.